Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games, where our board game playthroughs are always unpaid and ad free. I'm your host, Francis. And I'm Anthony. And today we're going to be taking you through Call to Adventure. Call to the Adventure. Name of the Wind expansion. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I just call it Name of the Wind because it's the only way we play this. That is true. <laughs> um, this is a uh, an adventure. I would say an adventure card game, but it kind of is kind an adventure is. game with cards. Yeah. Um, designed by Johnny and Chris O'Neill for Brotherwise Games. It's two to four players in about thirty to sixty minutes. All right. So join us at the table, and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Welcome to the Fae. The Fae. Well, we're, well, we're not necessarily the Fae. Fae. Right <laughs> we could be. And most of you won't even understand what that means. <laughs> if you haven't read any of <sighs> Patrick Rothfuss's King Killer Chronicle books. So good. Books one and two. I know. We'll um, if you haven't, highly recommend because it'll make this playthrough even more enjoyable. Yeah, absolutely. For you. But yes. you don't really have to know it to, to watch the playthrough and understand right? what's going on <laughs> <laughs> from a game's perspective. So, uh, Call to Adventure is. As Francis said, a card game where it's not necessarily us adventuring per se. It's, it's, like, it's like a story building. Building the story of our characters' game, lives. Yes. It's, a, it's a character builder. Right. Uh, yeah, we don't really get too many doing. of these. No, this is yeah. really a really interesting um, kind of change to how you play an adventure because yes, you're building a absolutely. story. And, and you'll understand that as we go along. Um, but take a look at the table. I'll go over the setup real quick and then we're going to jump right into playing. And basically, it's just discovering. The lives of our heroes. Yes. Right? Our yeah. un Which undiscovered heroes. Every single time. So. Every time. So, um, what you have in the center of the table are three acts that we're going to play through, starting with Act One, then Act Two, and Act Three. And Act Three is sort of the finale. Mm -hmm. um, on our player boards, we have three cards, one from each sort of act, I guess you could say, but you have your origin. You Sorry, have okay. yeah, your origin uh, all the way through to your destiny, right? right. And in the middle is your motivations. So um, we had to, we were dealt two of these. We randomly picked which ones we wanted, and that's what we're going to start with. The first two are revealed. The third is is kept hidden from each other. Mm -hmm. uh, we will show you guys uh, what they are, just so that you know. If you want to okay. go ahead and show, close your eyes. I'm not looking. <laughs> you can hold it up. Okay, I'll hold it up. To yeah, you hold it up to the overhead, and that way they can there see what it is. Hopefully, you can see that. Take a look. You'll, it'll make more sense yeah. as we start playing what that actually means. I'll show mine now. So this is what I'm going for for maximum scoring this game, right? Maximum score power. It's more or less like sort of the title or the achievement you want to have. It's your destiny. Yeah, it's your density. It's you're working. It is my density. <laughs> so that's what you get for startup. You get three of these experience tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start here at the bottom of the sort of light tracks. So this yes. is sort of this is like a corruption track where you can go dark or t towards the light mm -hmm. depending on the deeds you do and the decisions right. you make throughout your playthrough. Right. Um, basically, the the turn structure is quite simple. We're each just going to take a challenge or a trait, mm -hmm. defeat the trait or achieve the challenge. Hopefully. Uh, well, actually, vice vice versa. We're going to yeah. defeat the challenge <laughs> yeah. or take the trait. Right. Um, like for example, to become if I, if one of us wanted to just become studious, there's a there's a cost. We would pay the cost, and you would gain that trait right. on your character. If you wanted to achieve uh, enduring the element, uh, this what is it? The waterside slums. Right. right. You have two ways to to go at this, but it's going to cost you a challenge here, and right. we'll explain the challenges as we go along. But mm -hmm. once you defeat it, it goes into your story. column one of your story, yeah. the beginning, and it's going to add to your abilities as we go, and you'll become mm -hmm. stronger as we go along, right? The That's like the core call to adventure. Right, exactly, and we're going to be doing that as we work through the acts. So yes. we're going to be going back and forth, drafting cards, doing challenges, hopefully getting those cards and pulling them into our story. And the pace of the game, there's, there's no real like rounds or anything. We're mm -hmm. going to be moving the game along at our own pace. So uh, as we collect three of these cards underneath of our, our story cards in each act, mm -hmm. we're going to move on to the next act. Right. So, um, and a player can move on to the next act yes. before others. Correct. As yes. long, if, they, if I haven't completed my three yet, I'm still in act one. Right. But Francis will move on to act two. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, and then the only other thing that's different about this piece is the naming of the yes. elements. Mechanically, yes. Uh, mechanically, but I guess we can probably go into that once we actually do it if you want to. Yeah, so if you're familiar yeah. with the books, you'll yeah. know that Kvothe had the ability to name 
elements yes. and by naming things. Well, he was working on it. You, yes, and he, he, he became very quite good <laughs> at it. So he, um, he naming fire, naming iron, and naming the wind. And right. when you name, or you would learn the name of something, you can control it. Anything, and that's mm -hmm. the whole premise of that of that world. So if right. you're into that book, definitely worth a read. Yeah. Um, two books, right? Still waiting on the third, though. Still it's waiting. been years. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, as well as the um, Game of Thrones books too, like those. I know. The, so these guys. authors start these so series many. and then they get distracted and then books don't come out. But <laughs> well, there will be no cons this year. So yeah, maybe. there's plenty of time to write. Right? So there you go. Um, uh, the only other thing I want to mention are these these two decks. You've got a light deck and a dark deck. These are our hero. Uh, an anti-hero card. Yes. So as you do certain things, you'll earn these hero cards, and or you could possibly earn these anti-hero cards. Anti-hero cards are pretty take that, mm -hmm. uh, which we tend to stay away from because they're yeah. they're really nasty cards right. uh, in this game. Um, better with more people. Better too. with more people. Yeah. And the last thing is challenges are all done with these two-sided runes. You're going to yeah. be casting runes. So no dice. No dice, just runes, and these will determine success or failure. And we'll go through that, and you'll see a lot of rune rolling. So we're not even going to. Yeah. Rune casting, I guess you yes. could say. But with that, we're going to start the game. Um, you want to just go through your yes. starting traits real quick? Like, oh, sure. A little yeah, bit about absolutely. your character. So sure, so my origin story. Mm -hmm. um, so my character is a performer. Mm. Um, and uh, these uh, cards kind of come with some extra abilities or um, sometimes uh, some things that you can't do. So um, in my case, during a challenge, if I reveal certain types of runes, I will actually gain experience points, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, so she's a performer. I start with, um, I can, I, like a red and a purple. I can never remember what these, it's the, the charisma and something yeah, else. Yeah, so the runes but, come in, in six different colors, yes. right? Six different symbols. But they, they represent the core traits of any hero adventurer in, say, Dungeons and Dragons or any adventure game. Right. So with their strength, yeah. dexterity. Which I am like... Not constitution, don't. intelligence, <laughs> wisdom. I'm just like, where do they come up with this stuff? And charisma. So those are the six. Right. But right. you can just say so the for all intents and purposes, red and purple is what I start with. Okay. Um, and then for my second act, I also have this trait that I'm pure of heart. Mm. So this is actually going to be an end game um, uh, assessment, I guess you could mm -hmm. say. So at the end of the game, I'm going to lose uh, essentially a, a light point, or which is going to be my victory points for each. Um, uh, corruption in my story. Mm -hmm. So you'll see that as we go through these cards, you can kind of um, encounter things for good or for bad. Yes. Um, so if you chose to go down the corrupt path or the negative path, that might be great per your story. Yeah. Um, you get a lot of points doing that. Uh, but in my case, uh, my at my core, my truth. So I'm pure of heart. You're so pure of that's heart. That's going to. You are me. pure of heart. All right. So what about you? mine's quite simple. I'm a hunter. So during a challenge of at least one of my runes shows the dexterity um, or the green, <laughs> the green icon, which is wisdom. <laughs> so dexterity or wisdom, uh, right. which are typically druid uh, characteristics, you would say. Uh, those, you, I would gain an experience point. And then once per turn, so I'm born lucky. So I'm a hunter who's born lucky. So born lucky is once per turn, I may spend one experience point to flip over a dark rune I just cast, which could be very, very, that could be very, very valuable. valuable. Yeah. Um, and you'll understand why when we talk about yes. casting dark runes, which I will certainly do at some point. And speak of of, of uh, pushing you a dark well, like I my a lot of my choices I discarded mm -hmm. in the beginning of building my character were all about going bad. Right. They were yeah. very, very much saying, yeah. you know, you go bad and you're going to get a lot of points. So I'm like, okay. eh, I don't know if I really want to do that for this playthrough. Right. It's more fun when you have more people because then you don't have to pick <laughs> on the same person the whole time. <laughs> the couch doesn't seem so comfortable. Yes, <laughs> it does not. So with that, I think you're going to take the first turn. Yes. And we'll go from there. Okay. All right. All right. So your I'm choice. Starting. Okay. So um, I think I'm going to engage in this Chandrian attack. Oh, the Chandrians are attacking. The Chandrians okay. bad. So um, I am going to... Now, what, how this works is on the left-hand side of these cards, mm -hmm. you have a number value, which is how many successes you need in order to pass the challenge. Correct. Uh, or at a base level. Yeah. Um, these particular cards that we have out don't have any modifiers on the top challenge or the bottom challenge, but sometimes they will, so you want to take that into account. You do have to declare which challenge you're going to take before you roll the challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in my case, I'm going to find a survivor. At least that's right. what I'm kind of going for. So, so I'm going to get the three base runes. Three base runes. Right. And then I'm going to look at my 
uh, tableau here and see if I have any of the symbols that match up with the symbols that I'm, I'm kind of going for. Right. So we're looking and at I constitution do. or intellect or intelligence. Right. Constitution I have. So you have constitution. So, so you get the base constitution Yes, I room. do. Excellent. Um, and that's it because I don't have anything else. Right. So. If you had more <laughs> right. constitution runes, and you can you could roll more runes. You, so you're allowed up to three of them if you had yeah, more of them. Yeah, I know. And I could actually also spend an experience point if I was really hurting to get a dark to get rune. one dark rune, which could but be worth that has one or two successes negative. on it. But yeah, it's yeah. one or two successes, so you're always guaranteed a success. But the, the downside is if you do get that success, if you get the double success, like yeah, the two the moon, with the moon, you um, go down. You're down the corruption track. Yeah, so. which isn't great. Not, yeah. Oh, I've, as, I forgot. We were supposed to each start with one of oh. these cards, which I didn't deal out in the beginning. So. Oh, whoops. Um, oh. oh, very nice. No okay. So these cards can be used um, during your play, right? You just flip them over and use the text on them. They're, they're pretty good. They're good to get you out of certain jams and yeah. kind of help you add some benefits to your act. Your Actually, action. I'm going to use mine right now. All right, there you go. Okay. Um, so I'm, that's a brilliant plan. So before I attempt a challenge, I can add an extra intellect mm. to my challenge. All right, there you go. All right, cool. So you need a four. They're so hard to cast. They are. <laughs> oh. Oh. You got it. Though. I got it. Okay, good. So if you happen to roll the symbol as yes. opposed to the strike, they're worth two points. Right. So two, I actually four, got five. Five. Which is perfect. Yes. So I would have not gotten that. So this comes into my tableau. Um, and now what you'll notice is that on the bottom of this card, it actually has a couple of extra symbols. So next time I do a challenge, mm -hmm. I'm going to have this intellect as part of my... Um, Part of my runes that I can cast if if that's something that I can cast on that next challenge. So, all right. So that's gonna. So that's there. your turn. Yep. Your turn. That's my turn. So we have the spiritual trait came out. So studious. You may only gain if if you have if you have intellect already mm -hmm. and spend or spend, or spend an experience. I'll spend an experience point mm -hmm. and just take okay. studious. Cool. So I am gonna just add this immediately to my. Tableau, and now I have Aww. the intel intellect or intelligence trait. First, First love. love. Oh, so this is an yeah, ally. Actually, allies. since I draw, since yeah. I'm still Sorry. adding, <laughs> this is an ally, your first love. And I can add this to any one of these challenges out here. Mm -hmm. And this will create a plus one to the challenge difficulty. It's be a little bit harder. So it's going to be harder. Hmm. And you can't put them on traits. Mm -mm. So no. let me put it on. I'll put it on here, Enduring mm. the Elements. Okay. So that'll go there. And then you draw another one. All right. And oh, wow. You Indigious are intellect. Hmm. Uncanny neck. That's a sympathy lesson. And they don't mean sympathy as in mm. <laughs> feeling, you know, empathy for someone. Yeah. Or feeling sad. Sympathy. I might need that so I can learn how to name stuff. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, I liked that waterside slums until you added one to it. Mm. That's not that hard. It's a five. Yeah. I know, but I only have one of those runes that I could guess. Guess the dark rune. I could. Yeah, it's not bad early. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could. Uh, okay, I'll try that. Okay. So I'll go for, I'll go for that. I'm going to go for Enduring the Elements. So I will cast... So you will cast Chris, Constitution. Uh, Constitution. Three basic runes. And if you want to pay an experience point, you and will I'll get an a dark, dark rune. rune. You, you can goes. always move it back. You can. Almost always. There's a lot of ways to do that, yeah. Oh. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so you rolled so three. So I failed. Um, yeah, I, I failed pretty bad. Um, so but this does you. get me... Uh, well, it gives me an anti-hero card because I spent, didn't I? I no, you know, only if this popped up the Oh, moon. yeah, it did, and it so did it not, So it did right? not, so okay. you're okay. So I do get a hero card. You get a hero. Um, and you failed it, so you get an experience point. 
Yeah, and I get to I get to try and name something if I want to. And you do. And this goes out of the game, gets discarded because it was attempted and failed. And the failed. event happens. Um, okay, so I will try to name... Uh, okay, so the way this works is we didn't explain. So mm -hmm. if you do fail a challenge, you can attempt to name something, either the fire, iron, or the wind. Um, this is going to be actually, well, almost impossible. I will actually get... Well, because I have a fire symbol. That's mm. the only reason I'm doing this. So um, I get to add plus one for each fire symbol path in my, in my story. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh, I haven't been doing this. Crap. Oh, well. Um, if I have constitution, which I do, I gain plus one to my attempt as well. Okay. So I, I start off with a plus two to my attempt, and I need to get a four. All right. So That's not too hard. We'll see. Well, it's still, still hard. <laughs> I did it. No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you had plus two, right? Plus two. And plus yeah, two is so four. Two, two is still four. Yeah, you so. got it. So you named, named the wind. Fire. So now I get this fire token. Um, the benefit to that is, as you said earlier, when you know the name of something, you can kind of control it. So now, if a story card comes out that has that fire symbol, mm -hmm. I automatically have you can the just op take it. option to take it. So, so it's pretty good. Yes, populate that. And ah, so this is prepare for war. Mm. Ah, all right. So I'm going to go for prodigious intellect, I believe, because that's what I want to go after. So I'm going to go after this one. Okay. And I'm going after, so this is a sympathy lesson, and I'm going to try to get prodigious intellect. So okay. it's going to use um, my in intellect, mm -hmm. my intelligence. It's also going to allow me to use my wisdom. Mm. So I can use my wisdom. And my three. And I need a four yes. to win this. You should be able to do it. I should. In theory. Two, four, five, six. Overkill. Wow. So I have achieved prodigious intellect. All right. Okay. Your turn. Oh, brave. Hmm. <sighs> Ah, so I do get what you were forgetting to collect. I actually get to collect because the challenge did contain wisdom. Right, yeah. That's good. Hmm. I would like to be brave, but I don't have that trait. <laughs> <laughs> Or spend an experience, you just take it. I know, but that's okay. I may actually, um, I just go for this. I don't have any of these negative. Um, you don't, you're not uh, corruption, no corruption. corruption. So, yeah. so you can take I can spiritual. just take spiritual. You have become. And I've become spiritual. Spiritual, now. that's good. Yeah. All right. Okay. What do we have? Oh, oh it's an it's ally. an ally, cruel master. Um, yikes, okay. That's interesting. Mm, what makes most sense? Let's see. An unwanted Ooh, an suitor? An unwanted suitor is a cruel master. It's a cruel master. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Uh, one more? Yep. There you go. Win a foe's loyalty, mm. huh? Crush your Crush rival. Your rival. <laughs> this is the childhood rival. So it's interesting. So that's a wow. I don't know if I could do any of these. You might want to wipe. No, I'm gonna do the prepare for war. Okay. Because I do have two intelligence, so I can cast two intelligence runes. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do plan the city's defenses. So this is a prep for war. I need a four. Okay. Again, this isn't yeah. too difficult. Yikes. Um, maybe I... Hmm. I'm going to hold on to that for now. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need it for this. Wow, maybe I should have. Uh, so that's, that's a three. That's a fail. So I 
lose that, but I do get to test for the wind, but I don't get to, I'm, I don't have enough mm, to make it to even worthy, get it. Because yeah. you need a four success and all you can cast are these basic runes and the most you can get out of them is three. Right. So I failed. I do get experience points for failing. Broken. You, you wish to be broken. No. If you lost a challenge or sacrifice an ally, you may gain this for free. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, man. Okay. Hmm. Um. I don't really like any of these. This was all right, but I don't really want this master. Mmm. Yeah, because that's a dark... Yeah, you may sacrifice this ally to gain... Well, oh, okay. So you don't have to keep him. Mm -mm. He just kind of gives you another... This thing. Mm -hmm. Another symbol. Mm -hmm. The mask. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll go after this. Right. And I'll do the Charm of Wealthy Noble. I see you so have I wisdom. I have wisdom, and I have charisma. You have charisma. And then I get my basics. Basic. And... You just need a five. That's it. All right. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Four. Uh, four. Yeah. Not five. Not five. <laughs> <laughs> so you do get a card. Yeah. And an experience point. Yikes. And you could try okay. to name something else. I uh, don't really have anything else to name, so... Okay. Um, but I do get an SP. Yes, you do. All right, so what did you... You went for these guys, yeah. right? So they are gone. Get rid of them. What do we got now? Oh, a musician. Interesting. Nice. When you gain this, you gain a card for oh, each... For each M you have. Oh, um, charisma. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't really like any of these, to be honest. Wipe them. I can only wipe one for one experience. That's a lot. I know. All right, so I'll wipe this one, see what comes out. Cost is just far too high. Oh, oh we have a Tinker. Tinker, tinker Taylor, Soldier <laughs> Spy. Ah, that's kind of meh. All right. And these are all traits, for goodness mm -hmm. sakes. Yeah. Right. Enlist in the King's Army. I might as well do this one. That's the sword or constitution. These are not great. It's a call to arms. I don't have swords or constitution. So not good. I might just I might just wipe another one. <laughs> this is very expensive. I know. But it's This is the one thing about I think the two player game. Yeah. As as it typically is with these types of games. When you're playing with more, you're really going through these cards a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. A foundling. Oh. Well, that's a trait. Well, that's, yeah. Mm. I'm not sure I like that one either. <laughs> I know. Ah, uh, yikes. I'll take it because it's worth three points. Okay, that's So good. I will become a foundling. Get, I get a card. And you get um, and I gain, sunshine. Yeah, I gain some good sunshine. Lightness. A little bit of sunshine yeah. in my life. But that completes the first chapter of my of story. Yeah. yeah, so I go up one. Uh, I'll refresh this. This is a gang of urchins. Ooh. All right. So I am a hunter that's studious. I was a foundling, and I'm a prodigious intellect. So oh, that's the start okay. of my, right. the core of my <laughs> upbringing. So okay. with that, because I've we will reveal made it to Act Two, two we are ready. Good. These are a little harder. To reveal Act Two. <sighs> Much more there difficult. we go. Wow. Yes. Interesting. Cool. All right. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I want to live with regret <laughs> <laughs> on the gang of urchins. Ah. Uh. Um, maybe. <laughs> live with regret. <laughs> I think I'm actually just going to take this musician trait. Because I'm, I'm a performer anyway. Okay. Yeah, and then true. when I gain this, I get a hero card for every... So you get a hero card. So I have, that's yeah. one hero card. Yep. It's worth it. Yeah. And that's your third it's, card. So you're is, actually yeah. out. So I can clean up 
Yeah, we can clean up Act, act one, 1, because we're not going to draw from there anymore. Because Act 1 is now over. I can't pick this up. You just okay, can't? There we go. I'll just skirt. All so right. that's, yeah, there we go. So that's interesting. I'm a spiritual musician performer. <laughs> Escaping with my life. You've escaped that with your life. It's good. That makes sense. Sure. All right, so I'm going to follow suit on the in intelli the intelligence <laughs> path. The intellect. On the path, what? On the intel <laughs> intellect. And I'm going to be inventive. Okay. You may only gain this trait if you have intelligence and um, dexterity, okay. which I do. Yes, you do. So I automatically gain this. It doesn't cost me two experience. Okay. So I will put this in my second slot. Very good. So now we have, t wow, two adversaries up here. So wow, okay. And they're very thematic to um, the, the books. Story, yeah, because yeah, you've got the Lordling here and you've got the Chancellor. Mm-hmm. So they're they're kind of tough. They they're a six difficulty. Mm -hmm. So you have to like sword fight this guy. But they're worth victory points, which is great. lots of victory yeah. points. Yeah. So we've uh, a public whipping, which mm -hmm. is no good, and uh, a confrontation. What are you going for? Mm, I think I might go for. Um, oh. I think I'm gonna go for this public whipping. I'm just thinking about. I think I guess I'll go for show no pain. Mm. Wow. Maybe. So you're gonna be whipped publicly. Yes. Awesome. So I actually have two reds. You do. And a purple. Two reds. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got two constitution and one charisma. Right. And then I get a three basic. Three basic runes, and the challenge is four, which is not that tough. No, it should be fine. Yeah, so if you so you're doing show no pain? Yeah. Oh it's plus, it's one, plus one. So five. it's actually a five yeah. difficulty. Um which is hold on a second. Hmm. I wonder if I could do this too. Um I don't think I drew my card. I only have one card. I should have two. I started with one. Oh, you I didn't draw when you got your foundling? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, an inventive actually gives me a dark card. Oh, that's good. Wow, look at all those runes. Holy moly, that's overkill. Yeah, two, four, <laughs> five, Now, before six, I forget, seven, eight. during a challenge of at least one of yours, so I gain an experience just yeah. because I rolled one of those yep. guys. And then I do get this guy. So you endured punishment. I show no you pain. Showed no pain. That was that was pretty because boss I'm pure of you. Heart. It is pretty boss. I'm just like whatever, whipping guy. <laughs> Your whips don't <laughs> hurt. Your whips do nothing. Your turn. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm waiting for you to refill. Ah. Oh, it's like no, nice. Train with the with the Adam. Ah, oh, oh, yeah. Adam, right? Adam. Adam, Adam, Adam. I think it's pronounced Adam. Hands like knives. Hands like knives or break, break lion. Break lion. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, but it doesn't really follow my character. Mm. My character is very much a wizard at okay. heart. He's like so a hunter wizard, though. He's a hunter wizard. <laughs> so he's going to hunt the chancellor mm, that's good. as the adversary. So he's a difficulty of six. If you have none of these um, sort of scroll symbols, uh -huh. which I am lush in scroll symbols, I would have had a plus one versus this challenge. Mm. But since I negate that, so I'm going to get that. I'm oh, actually I thought going that to meant get that you would have plus one to your success. Oh, really? If you have yeah, none of them? Because oh, he you have is plus part one. of the... You have plus one versus Because he challenge. gives you that symbol. Mm. You know what I mean? So I, I, I'm just thinking like thematically. Oh, yeah. That, that's kind of you know tough I mean? to think about though, right? Yeah. Because it could be taken either way. Right. Plus one versus... Because like these say plus one to your attempt. Right. So maybe so that's... I think, I think it's right. to make him more yeah. difficult. If you're yeah. not... In, if you have no intellect, no, if, if you're, you're not, not studious, yeah, exactly. then you, have, you stand no chance you. against the chancellor. Yeah. So I do have three intelligence symbols, so I get to roll this special uh -huh. third rune, yes. which Good. has a side that shows, um, it allows, if I roll this, it lets me draw a hero card. So I need a six, so I want to be extra sure I pass this, so I'm going to pay one for a dark okay. rune. Let's see if I have any cards that can help me here, and I do not. Um, I do not. And I don't have any uh, constitution. So, ah, mm. wow, wow, this is really bad. Yikes! Two, four, five. I fell short. 
Yeah. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah, because your white triangle is just draw a hero card. Mm -hmm. So I do get to draw two hero cards. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm going to go down one. So I'm actually going to draw one hero card and one anti-hero card from that. I'm going to get an experience for failing this mission which is terrible that I wasn't able to beat the Chancellor. Mm. A lot of blanks I rolled. That was a lot. That was bad. So I don't get anything else. I could try to name... Yeah, you can try to name something. Iron. You have iron? No. Oh, okay. But if I have that symbol, don't I get plus one to yeah. my attempt? So why not attempt? You have to have sword and the oh, wand. Oh, sword and wand. Then I, Oh, I don't have sword, do I? I'm going to need to get sword at some point. All right, there you go. Oh, compose a song. Mm -hmm. Discrete assignment. Oh, compose a song. That goes right along with my story. It is with your musician. Hmm. Well, I was going to do hands like knives. <laughs> 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 but maybe now I'll do a discrete assignment. Um, let's see, do I want to go for more music notes, more pipes, or more points? Hmm. Oh, I don't have any of those. I don't have any of these yet. I would be able to roll one, two. Yeah, I'd only be rolling two of those. So that may not be good. Um, let me play this. I'm gonna play this, search the archives. Mm -hmm. So I can draw three hero cards mm -hmm. and then basically discard, discard two. two, so. See if any of those give me the opportunity. Um, but I like that this gives you that too. Well, oh, the iron. Mm -hmm. Do you want to name the iron? Yeah, I want to name. I want to name them all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like composed songs like more thematic, which is making me want to do that. So okay. let me just do that. Uh, so I have one, two. Of those two charisma, charisma. yep, yeah. and three base, and maybe I'll maybe I'll pay one of these and just do a dark. There you go. This could be bad. No! Ooh, oh, this is so yeah. bad. This is so bad. <laughs> so you're gonna go down. Oh, that's you're gonna not good. You're gonna get a card. You want a light card? No, I have to get a dark card because I went dark. down. See, it's got a white and a black next to the card. Oh, I thought it was depending on where you're at. No, because in the next one. Oh, oh, I see what dark. you mean. Yeah, what yeah, you are in right. In these you two levels, right. you can go either way. Yeah, so I'll take a light card, please. Thank All right. You. Uh, you're going to get an experience point. Okay. And yeah, you had a roll like mine. Something, but it's all bad. That's all bad. I can try to name something. Uh, yeah. What did you, which one did you do? I you did, did this. this one, right? I could yeah. This all right. Um. But I don't have any of, I don't have those, and I don't have those, so I really you can't, can't do anything. All right, so just repop the um, the offer, and I will decide where I'm going. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. There you go. All right, so roving bandits. Uh, so yeah. I could either repel the bandits, or... Hide from the fight. <laughs> Hide from the fight. Yeah. But if I'm going to do one like that, I might as well just do... I might as well just do hands like knives. Okay. But I don't, it's just going to be tough. Oh, my gosh. What do you have? What do I have? Do you have I've anything? Got, yeah, have I've got the... Um, I've got the dexterity. Okay. Symbol. 
um, I can add, I can play the surprise attack and add an additional dexterity mm -hmm. to my to my fight. Okay. Um, I have the base, and I can roll a dark room. Okay. I think with that, it's my best shot. One, two, three, four. Fell Not one enough. short. Like, ah, I'm gonna pay this. Mm -hmm. That's gonna flip this. Oh, okay. Because I'm lucky. Yeah. And that's worth two. I'm gonna go down one. Right, but you. But, but you I pass. beat this. Okay. So hands like knives. Yeah, okay. I have hands <laughs> like knives. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. Okay. So okay. Uh, I also I do get an experience because I did have dexterity in my challenge uh, oh right, as a yes. hunter. I always forget to check. Yeah, I make sure of that because I've been spending my XP like crazy. All right, Vault of Secrets. Oh, I like those. I do too. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Um. Wow, this is not good. Hmm. And I have nothing out that I can get. No. Um, all right. I've got all these, but these are all like not what I need. Um, so much like dexterity stuff out there that's not really helpful. Why don't you start wiping some of these? I think I'm going to. I'm just I'm deciding yeah. which one I want to so get rid terrible. of. Yeah, these are like not great. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this bandage. All right. Goodbye. Survive the forest. Ooh, that's okay. A good one, actually. Uh, that's one I can that's do. This is the eld. Yes, I can do that. Okay. I'm gonna do this one. This is so, uh, yeah. You're all about constitution. Yes, I am. So I'm gonna get um, two constitution. Mm -hmm. One wisdom and the three basic. This guy. Or One intellect, rather. Wisdom. Is. is that right? Oh, intellect, wisdom. wisdom. <laughs> that's so. That's wisdom. Okay, that's the one I have. So wh where is it at? Oh, yeah, so. Here. You're doing. Yeah, so Here. wisdom and constitution. Yes. And I'm going to survive the forest. Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you may or may not. Oh, that's good. That's Two, good. four, five, six. Nice. Perfect. Oh, and I didn't beat it by, I only needed five, right? Yes. Okay. Would you have to beat it by two? Yeah. To that's get a okay. bonus? Yeah, get a bonus, but that's okay. Got this you one. still beat it. I did. That's good. Well worth it. I'll take it into my collection. All righty. Let's bring okay. out some good stuff. All right. Ready? I am ready. Pay a bribe. Ooh, a corrupt, corrupt official. official. Okay. Uh, I'm going to actually do the Vault of Secrets. Okay. Because I think... And which are you going to do? Unlock the vault or no, learn forgotten no, I'm lore? I'm going to learn the forgotten lore because I am all about intellect. Okay. So I've got three intellects and one dexterity. So I'm actually going to get an XP for that. My three basics. What do I need to beat this? A four? Mm -hmm. That's easy. <laughs> Bang. Oh, wow. wow. I don't think you could. Yikes. Two, you four, really six, eight, eight nine, that. ten. It's insane. Okay. Yeah. The highest you could, I could have possibly rolled is 11. Right. And I rolled a 10. That's good. Of course, on a 4. Yeah. So I do get this. Okay. So I've just completed. Act 2? Act 2. So <sighs> I've learned some forgotten lore. lore. So let's put these away. I will reset this for you. Repair faulty sigildry. My turn. All right. Didn't you have to get an experience point because you oh, had I did, that yeah. symbol? Thank you. Good looking out. Mm-hmm. Um, can't use these. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take this. Take that? Yes, take that. <laughs> the artificery. Because, because I call the name of fire and that has the fire symbol yes it does so so you are doing the, the goes. forge so i'm forging an artifact all right is that your after third card my public whipping yes it is excellent so we've just completed act two act two we are on the final act good so we can reveal we can my story right our here. act three story cards 
Um, which one I what I'm gonna do is let's remove, them down. <laughs> let's remove we're not we don't need these act. anymore, so here. Yeah, so we'll get rid of that act. Oh yes, these are all good. Bring down some cards and we will mm -hmm. tighten this board up a little mm -hmm. bit. Alright, so Ooh. Okay. What do I want to go after here? Mm, see the gift of the Fae. Hmm. Do I want the gift of the Fae? Maybe. But it really doesn't fit my uh -huh. my skills. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Follow the lanthana. Hmm. Yeah, none of these really work <laughs> to my strengths, and they're very tough. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. So, God, this is all about constitution. I know. And if you read the books, you'd know what it means by him having constitution <laughs> for the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. This is so, so challenging. I might as well try one. So let's try yeah. this scrail swarm. Okay. Right? I'm going to try to drive off the scrail. Okay. It's a five plus one. That is, is a six. That's a six difficulty, and I'm going to get one and three of these mm -hmm. only, right? Because it's just swords. Yeah. Strength. Just a test of strength. Oh, oops. This was down there. Oh, so, see, I did have one of those. Sorry. Mm. Talking to myself. <laughs> is that worth it? Mm, maybe I, instead I want to do the sword tree. Okay. Yeah, because you have more dexterity, don't you? I have one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm going to get an XP for doing this one because it has the dex symbol. Okay. So at least it's worth it. I'm going to try to calm the winds. Right. I need a five. This is, it has to be a perfect roll for me to get a five. And it's not. So I get an experience for failing. Mm -hmm. This goes off, but mm -hmm. I get to try to name something. Yes. And I'm going to try to name iron. Okay. Right? Because I do have the iron symbol. Yes, you do. So I get plus one. Yes. I do have a sword and a wand, which yes. is strength and int intelligence. Right. So, so I do get one. a bonus there. Right? Mm -hmm. So I get plus two to my roll. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Is that how this works? Yep. And what do I need? A four? Mm-hmm. That's a three. All right, so I failed. But I tried. Yeah. That was actually a one. What was a one? My roll? Yeah. One plus two. Oh, plus two. Yeah. Is three. That is true. Okay. 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 Let's see. Um, all right, so I'm going to play this. I'm going to play bind with iron. Mm. So I'm doing some binding. And I can uh, add one to attempt to name iron, which I'm not going to do. Um, or I can automatically succeed when I attempt a an iron path. Mm. And I'm going to do drive off the scrap. Okay. Very scrowl. good. The, yeah, the scrap. I can't scrap. <laughs> there we go. That was easy peasy. Scrap. All right. There you go. Mm. Oh, like Ramson Steel. Alar like the ocean. Sympathy duel. Hmm. That's Alar pretty cool. Like the ocean? Yeah. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Nah. I'm gonna go to the edge of the map. Okay. That's <laughs> gonna be. Are you gonna journey abroad or learn lost stories? I'm gonna learn the lost stories at the edge of the map. Okay. So I need a six. So I'm gonna pay one of these for a dark room. Okay. And we are gonna try to do this. Mm. So I've got two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's good. It's going to knock me down, though, which is... No, not good, but... Not good, but I needed... That would be okay for you. I needed yeah. to succeed. Yeah, it's not terrible. I do get a card. So I'm going to take a dark card and put these all away. Actually, I get two cards. Hmm. So I learned the lost stories. The lost stories. How about you? Alright. Yeah. I shall bring out oh, the, the Chandrian. Chandrian. Oh no. Good luck with that. 
While this is undefeated, pipe and scroll pass have plus one difficulty. Holy moly. Okay, well, it's good we don't have any of those out. Well, mm. We do. Mm, we scroll. do. Yeah. <gasps> if we go to the gift of the fae. That's not good. Well, he's an eight. I know. Wow. Great. Um, one, two, three. Um, okay. I will. <laughs> Five the breathless. Seven. Wow. It's a seven, but I have two constitution. I have one intellect. Okay. Two constitution. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking if that's what I want to do, though, because... All right. I may... Hmm... Maybe I'll do. So the thing is, I'm. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna do gifts of the bay. Okay. I'm gonna attempt a, sh a shade. Except, except, <laughs> except, except a shade. A yeah, except a shade. <laughs> so how many of these? You get two of those. I get two of these. Three of these. And three of these. That's it. That's all I get. That's it. Oh, it's only a constitution check. Do you want a dark? <coughs> no, 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 no. 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 Don't. Um, let me make sure I don't, can't use any of these. Okay. Maybe five? Mm -hmm. Is that even possible? Uh, yeah. Guess, yeah. Very possible. Whoa. <laughs> Two. Two, three, three four, four, five. five. <laughs> it is ex just that. Exactly what I needed. Yeah, All right. So I get a hero card. Okay. Um, okay. And you've accepted and a shade. I accepted a shade. Excellent. Great. And that goes there. Okay, cool. Hmm. Yikes. All right, bring them out. Oh, man. We're getting too close to the end, and I'm not I ready. Know. I'm well, not ready. Fortunately, this is how it's got to go. Hmm. False troopers. Ah, uh, we know how Goroth feels about for false troopers. <laughs> Eek. Um... I don't know if I want to do the sympathy duel or if I want to go after the Chandrian. I might want to go after the Chandrian. Mm. Let's go big or go home. Okay. He's going to cost an eight, right? So I get three of my intelligence runes. I get one strength rune and my three basic runes. I'm going for it. All or nothing. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, so two, four, yeah, five, oh, six. Okay. <laughs> Failed, That's not good. but I do get two cards. And you get to attempt to name something if you want. Um, uh, this is draw a hero card, so I, I should have gotten two hero cards before instead mm -hmm. of two anti-hero cards. Yeah. Um, even though I can't play my hero cards, but mm -hmm. that's what that symbol represents. Um, I can name though. Yeah. So why don't I attempt to name Iron again? Okay. So I'm going to get a plus two again. Okay. Four. Hey, you did it. All right, so I named Iron. There you go. Thank you. Um, he stays because he's an adversary. Yeah, you he can't. He's undefeated. So right. he's still going to make those paths more difficult. So it's your turn. Um. I get XP yeah. for fighting him. Okay, I will speak to the wind softly, so I'll try mm. this. Okay. Okay. Um, let me, I'll play this, play this before you attempt a challenge, add an extra dexterity or constitution rune. So you want the so third I get constitution? three constitutions. Actually, I have four constitutions, because so I have three, one, but two, But you only ever get up to three. Oh. I guess I'll play a card, right? You can. Okay. You're going to get the dex rune, but it's not going to do yeah, anything for you. Then. So. Well, I don't get, a I don't get to roll a dex Yeah, anyway. it doesn't apply to this. 
Um, but I do get the three standard. Yep. Thank you. And I have to roll a seven. Seven. You got this. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's two, four, five, six. So yeah. one shy. So one shy, but I do get to name the wind you if I want attempt to. to right? Name the wind. So I can attempt to name the wind. Um, again, I don't have any dexterity, so I won't get points for that. But And I don't have any wind in my story. However, okay. I do have two <laughs> of these called wind cards. Mm -hmm. So I can add one to my attempt to name the wind. Okay. So we'll try that. So it's plus two. You're playing both. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Four. Two. That's it. All that's right. all I there needed. There you go. You named the wind. I named the wind. Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Tyrant's army. These are pretty tough. These are all tough. So I might as well go. I'll try to. Alar like ramps and steel during a sympathy duel. Okay. Might as well just go right for it. I need to get I need to get a card. Is what I need to do. So I get three intelligence. Like ramps and steel. Yeah. Not like the ocean. Nope. Oh, okay. Because I don't want the plus one. Mm. I don't need this any more difficult than it already is. But you're you're dark, aren't you? I don't have to go with that. Oh, okay. Because you score them all at the end of the game. Yeah. Unless your thing says you oh, can't yeah, score okay. a certain way. There you go, 6789. Oh, nice. okay. So I crushed it. Cool. So I did a lar like Ramston Steel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, there you go. Invent a schema. A, sh a shimmer. A shimmer. <clears throat> a brilliant invention. Oh. Well, that's kind of nice. Um. I have two of those. I don't know if I could get a six. Getting that though. Mm. Yikes. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be really tough. And I don't know. Um, I have one, two. Two of those guys. So six, seven. That's gonna be hard too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tough. spend. Yeah, I'm gonna spend this. And you wipe one. Wipe. Can I wipe the adversary? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe this guy. Let's see. Ooh, bandit oh, camp. That's, an easy. that's perfect. Mm. Um, I could raise the encampment for free, but I don't, don't want, want that, that because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't. I can't. You lose points for that. Lose points. Yep. And I'm not going to get those points. Um. But I could do. But I could do bandit camp, I guess. And defeat them. And defeat the bandits. Okay. Maybe. Let me try. All That's right. all I can do. So I get three of those. And three, three of these. those. Two, three, four. Nope. And you get two cards. <laughs> yeah. Right, so you get an experience point. Um, I can try to name something. You can name the one thing you don't have, iron. Yeah. These bandits are now gone. Oh, wow. OK. Um, Win Florian's heart. <gasps> I might need to do that. Mm. Um, so I get nothing. I get plus one. So you would get plus one to yeah. this. You <laughs> might as well. Perfect. Well, you might as well. Is that even? It's not even possible. Oh, I guess I could. It is possible. Yeah. One side is two. Ah, I didn't get it. That's all right. It's worth a roll, though. It's always worth a shot. It's always worth it. So I'm going to ditch a card because I You don't need... like that? No, that's too good. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Can I ditch another one? Yeah. I 
I don't like any of these. Yeah, these are so. costing me a lot of points, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna ditch one more. Okay. Another adversary. Well, this challenge is undefeated. Any here who takes dark, dark victory path. path gains oh, uh, wow. corruption. Yikes. Mm. Well, that's that's Not just good. terrible. Well, let me try to kill the Chandrian again. Okay. I'm gonna I feel go, like you should. I'm going to go out big. Big duel against the Chandrian. Okay. I get that. One of those, three of those, and I'm just going to go for it. Okay. No other modifiers. I just need an eight. Two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Nope. This, this one always just gives me cards. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't want these cards. All right. Okay. So I fail. I get an experience point. Uh, I'm going to try to roll. What can I name? Can I name anything? Can I name the uh, Yeah, you can try. Or fire? What are the symbols? Um, so if you want to do fire, that's going to be nope, constitution you don't have. This is, do you have any of those um, charm? No, I don't no. have the symbols. Okay. I can't name any of them. Yeah. You don't have them in your store either? Mm-mm. No, just iron. They're hard to get. They don't come up like as much as you think. Mm -hmm. You know. What did I try? Uh, Chandrian. I can't beat him. The Chandrian. Yikes. He's so tough. Yeah, that's that's tricky. Um, I can do this maybe. Oh, see, I could try to do that. I could try to fight the tyrant. Hmm. Eight. I have two charm. How many dexterity do you have? One? Mm hmm. Yikes, that's going to be really tough. Wisdom. Mmm. I'm just going to, I'll try to fight the tyrant. I'm going to play this too. Unlikely Alliance. Okay. So I can choose another hero, you, mm -hmm. to gain light. Mm -hmm. And then I can add your runes to my next challenge. Okay. So I can add your, this guy. All right. So you get one of these. And I get two purples. Charisma? Mm-hmm. Okay, what are you going after? The Tyrant. Oh, okay, so you need an eight. Yeah, and you basically need a perfect roll. Mm. So. Okay. Two, four, five, six, sorry. Right. You get a light card. Okay. Yeah, that guy's no joke. Both of these guys are too tough. We They're can't even take hard, them down. Uh, I'm gonna wipe a card. Oh wait, I failed, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna get this, uh -huh. and I will try for iron. Okay. Because I do have one, so just might as well. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna wipe that. Okay. See what we got. <laughs> so I couldn't snag it. Oh. oh. Prevent a wildfire. <laughs> <laughs> the Dracus. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try it. Okay. So I'm gonna get three. One of these, three of these for a six. Wow, I'm try okay. To prevent the wildfire. You should be able to. You got a decent that. amount of. Room You're going to prevent it. I hope. Okay. Yeah. Two, four, five, six, seven. And a card. Oh, Bang. nice. Done. So you have completed Act Three. I have. Which means I get one turn. One turn. And okay. then the game is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, research, research the Chandrian. Chandrian. Oh, but I don't want to do that because yeah. I don't want to gain that negative stuff. Um, but I could uncover the truth. Mm -hmm. mm, that's lost knowledge. Yeah, I have two of these okay. knowledge points. And I can do this. So brilliant plan. I can add an extra mm -hmm. knowledge as well. So you get three of these and three of these. You need a six. And I think I'll do this too. I'll give you this. Mm -hmm. I'll gain that. And I get plus two to my attempt. Okay. OK. 
So you need a six. So I need a six. And I have a how much? Plus two? Mm-hmm. Okay. Two, four, five. Yeah, you got it. Um Did I have anything else? No, you did it. I know, but I have this card, like, I have to exceed the difficulty by two. That's why I was like, I'm adding two mm. to my... Yeah, it didn't exceed by two. You need yeah, to get a did. six, you got a seven. I rolled these two, right? Yeah, two, four, two, five. Two, four, five. Plus two is seven. Six, seven. You needed a seven. A six. Oh. Plus one. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Well, that's that. <laughs> well, that's that. That's all, folks. That's it. That's our story. That is our story. So let us do some final scoring and okay. see how this turns out. And storytelling. Out. And storytelling. <laughs> all right. Let's score this up. Okay. So we have a number of things we've got to go through here. We have, do mm -hmm. have a score pad. I do. So, all right. So each player must reveal their, their density card. Yes. So let's reveal our density cards. Dun -dun. So uh, mine is University Master. Oh, I'm a namer. A namer. Oh, you name things. I name things. That's what I do. That's what you do. All right. So now we add up all the destiny points visible under your character cards. So the triumph and the tragedy card. So all these victory yes. points on the cards. Okay. I have 13. Okay. I have to recount mine. I can't remember if I messed that up. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 25. Okay. Wow, you got a lot of points. Yeah. Just on cards. Um, add any points you've gained from story icons. All right. So do you have matching story icons? I do have one pair. One, so each <laughs> I don't pair. Have a lot. So I just have one pair of pipes. That's worth two points. Yes. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, but four eight. plus is eight points. Yeah. yeah. And you, you only have that one set? No yeah, I only have those, those symbols. Okay. Um, and one point for every unspent experience, so I've got two. Mm -hmm. Every hero card you play is worth one point. Okay. And every... So I got one card I played. You only played one? Yeah, that's it. Oh. I was on the dark side for a oh, while Oh, but you played there. dark side. You played dark I didn't dark play any cards, cards, no. I could have, I just didn't. Which are terrible. Like I said, they're terribly take that. Yeah, they are bad. Like basically, play this after another hero is tempted to challenge, they must attempt it again. Yeah. And now it has plus one. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, that's pretty bad. That would have been... Yeah. That would have been angry. Yeah. So, um... What else is next? Then add any triumph or tragedy points gained from your position on the corruption track. So I get oh, two. Boop, 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 boop. Um, I'm sorry, what? Uh, your corruption two. track. So we each got two for that. So you can put that anywhere. It doesn't it's just, yeah, the score pad doesn't really line up. No, it doesn't. So, um, so that's it. Now your destiny card. So what were the points for that? Yeah, so um, at the end of the game, gain two points for every... Uh, wind, fire, or iron in your story. So I have two fire and an iron. So I get six. Six points for that. Plus, what did we get? Four for naming anything? Mm -hmm. So I got four for naming iron. Okay. So four for iron mm -hmm. for you. And I got eight for the names. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Uh, I get two points for every... Intel intelligence. One, yeah. two, three, four, five. That's ten points for that. And I get another five points if I have two of these and two of these in my hand. And I oh, do. Yeah. So that's another five. So 15 total? Yes, 15. One, two. Yep. All 10, right. 15. So what um, does this up let to? me get my handy dandy calculator. <laughs> mm. You're playing like elevator music <laughs> during the score. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So 13, 2, 2. Yeah, the scoring in this is always always gets me because I it's like points out. There's so much mm -hmm. you're getting points for. Um, this 
57. So 45 to 57. All right. So pretty close. I just think it comes down to me not playing my cards. I know it does. I should have just played them. You should have. But yeah, well, you had a lot of hero cards you didn't play. That's what I'm either. saying. I not playing my cards. I could well, I could, but I didn't get until later. I just was being silly. I should have because I have yeah. eight points in just hero cards here. Right, which is what I got. I got nine points just by playing my yeah, hero cards. And that was the difference. Right. Yeah. Well, so, let's go talk about it. Play your cards. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Here we are. We've we've had a call <laughs> to adventure. We have a call of the wild. Yes. Um, so I'm actually really excited to, to um, talk about this one because we've had this for, well. We've had it for a little while. I had my eyes on it for mm. a long time yeah. before that because it was one of those ones that we kept seeing and like passing up, like let's try it before we get it kind of thing. Right. And then we ended up, um, I think at the last, I don't know if it was, what was, was it PAX or Gen Con? I forget. Mm. But sometime last yeah, year we remember. finally picked it up because... The, call, the name of the wind expansion was with it. So right. we were like, okay, well, that's what we'll wait for. And we did, and we finally got it. Um, and we've played this at multiple player counts. Um, four, I think, being... Well, four being the most, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I think we've played it at three as we've well. We've played it at four, we've played it at three. Yeah, we played it with three with Pete. Uh -huh. Played it at four of the cons. Yeah. So we played it a number of times. And this is our first actual... This is our first two-player game. Right, yeah. So, um, so And it I've, can also be played solo, which... We haven't done. I don't think it can. And it can also be played co-op, by the way. Yes. Which, against an adversary, which, which is we also interesting, done, which would probably be enjoyable. Which would probably be a little bit more fun for the two of us. I think and so. That, but that's what I want to talk about, because okay. we literally, you're getting this fresh. We mm -hmm. haven't had a chance to talk about this right, at as all. a two-player experience, so we thought it would be kind of fun to talk about that with you, like talk you know, to each other, to you. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, um, personally, I think that uh, I... I really enjoy this game just because I really enjoy the books and I like the theme. Yeah. Um, I like going through the story. I like building a different sort of story every time. Um, it is, it's a similar kind of experience every time, I think, but mm -hmm. you're building a different sort of story. And if you stick to just kind of having fun living out the story, yeah, it's very fun, um, which is interesting, I think, because I usually don't go that way. I usually right. hate dice luck stuff uh maybe it's because they're not dice they're runes. like yeah the, just yeah like the, chucking the, giant bones. It, well it's, it's like your odds are but are like good or bad like there, if there's no either, like yeah. in between right and you do get to you have choice so you have this yeah. element of like i have a lot of different things i i could potentially do mm -hmm. but uh but i'm curious to see what you thought about this particular play um, I think the more I play the game, mm -hmm. the more I start to... Well, here's a, here's my issue, right? Yes. And I'll start out with my issue with it. It's that I enjoy the story aspect in creating my character's story. And because I do that and I focus on that so much, I don't think about the scoring. And that I lose. That is your fatal flaw. And it's my fatal flaw. And I think, it's, and I think that's why these type of scoring like here's my issue if you have an adventure game mm -hmm. there shouldn't be a scoring aspect period I, because I like that. Yeah. it's about getting through the adventure right and that should be the achievement and you should be and you should be it should be based on your achievement not by how many symbols i match you know what i mean because that's what it boils like down the, to i actually that's really that's very um profound profound statement because i if, for that same reason for the same reason that you struggle with not being able to fully immerse yourself in the story mm -hmm. for for at the loss of points basically correct i i get very frustrated not getting into a story typically mm -hmm. because i'm afraid to lose points so i get mm. very frustrated rolling the dice and i'm not having fun because mm -hmm. i'm concentrated on getting points right. and achieving things and if I'm not achieving, I'm not enjoying the journey aspect of it, right. where you enjoy I'm the, journey the journey and you get penalized for it. This guy is always about the journey. So I don't care about the points. So yeah, I, I don't care about points. We I don't need care to have about a game that has no points and it's all just about the story. Yeah, I mean that that, that really defines me. It's not about like street cred or, it is, or yeah, any it's of that. It's just about I like being in the moment and yeah. enjoying the moment, right? I don't judge anything, yeah. judge anybody. I just like to have fun. Right. So when it comes down to me sitting here simply saying, well, crap, I didn't play my 
cards that were going to make the game a little easier for me, just yeah. so I could score these points. I think here's my issue: the fact that you don't score these points unless you play them, I think, is a bad move. Right. I should yeah. just score them then because I have them, right? Not right. because I played it. Whether I played them or not, if I played them, I should not score points for them. Right. Honestly, because I used them. Mm -hmm. So if you use them, then it should be I. The value is in the use. I, I shouldn't be it's that rewarded. Right. Yeah. For playing a card, mm -hmm. I think I, that's one of my biggest problems with this game. Right. I do like this game. I enjoy yeah. the adventure. I love the theme with right. Kavoth and the Call of the Wind. I love the add-on of the, of the um, elements mm -hmm. and naming. I don't like the way these cards are implemented in the game. I, they're great mitigants, but right. I think the rule, unless I have it completely wrong and somebody please fix me, but yeah, how <laughs> I've how learned it, it and how yeah. I've read it, it's you, in a, we read it again right before right. we played this game. Is you score because every card you've played. Right. Now, to me, again, you're getting doubly rewarded for a card. Right. I have a problem with that. Well, yeah, and I think that it it's it's almost I actually think, and not to turn this into kind of like a how we can make this sort of better <laughs> kind of game. No, but it, this is val there's value in that. There's value in, in what we have uh, issues with. It would with. almost it, it's like it would almost be beneficial to say. The hero cards, which mm -hmm. are the ones that really benefit you kind of in your bubble, mm -hmm. if you play them, they're not worth anything in scoring. Whereas the dark cards, mm -hmm. it would almost encourage you to play them. Do you know what I mean? Yes. If either you got points for them or... Or they were negative or points they in were your negative hand. negative points or if the person you played them against maybe got the point or like something like that maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, or if there were just no points for the hero cards at all, if they were just kind of bon active bonuses. I don't think you know there needs I mean? to be points for them. I think um, that real, like, because that was the difference. It's a 10 in point this, swing. In well, this game. Yeah, it was like a nine point swing, and I think we were 45, 57, so that would have brought us a lot closer. Yeah. Um, oh, no, that was only counting my light cards. I had five dark cards. Uh, I'm saying the ones that I played. I got nine points for the ones I played. Right, and yeah. I had at least 12 to 15 points in cards unplayed right. in my hand. Yeah. Think about that. And yeah. I didn't play them purely because I didn't feel the need to play them. Right. right? So why yeah. change my game experience to play a card to take a bonus to Especially get a bonus? Especially when order it's story-driven. Yeah, story driven. yeah and it, exactly. Yeah. So that I think that's very counter-intuitive yeah. right. to what this game is trying to do. And my this is purely my opinion. Right, of course. And this is what makes the game not enjoyable for me uh -huh. are these cards, Right. honestly. Um, I like the mitigant that they offer, but the fact that, you, like, sure, you can say, oh, well, just don't score them. Okay, well, now I'm changing the rules of the game. I am yeah. solely against changing the rules of a game. If a game is meant, written to be played a certain way, I play it that way. Right. And okay. if that way is broken... Yeah, we don't really do house rules. No, we don't house rule. Yeah. If, if the game isn't designed a certain way, I don't play it that way. Right. And if I have to change the rules, then I'm changing the game in it. To me, then I'm just not going to play the game. Right. But... Yeah. Again, I do like the, the adventure aspect. I do like creating my character. I do love the theme. I love the art. I love I love a lot of the mechanics. Those cards turn me off enough to not want to play the game anymore. Right. That's just yeah. my opinion. Um, I'll say um, a couple of things that I liked and then one kind of criticism that I have is um, I do... I do really enjoy, again, the way that you build up your tableau mm -hmm. in a way, like your tableau is your story, and then you get more powerful based on what you have in your tableau. Um, it does kind of, it is a little bit strange because like you do start to kind of go after the same types of, mm. like I did a lot of constitution, but that also helps build a, a cohesive story and a, a character that's very strong in one area. Yeah, right? I so, think that makes sense. Yeah, um, I could see maybe playing a couple more acts of this. I feel like three acts is really short in a way. It can, but it does take time. Um, it, I mean, it take, yeah, it takes time to build it up. But Maybe five like end, acts like, of two cards each. Yes, I think that would be to, that would to, be kind to of to stretch it stretch it out, out. a little bit. Um, the uh, the scoring, in my opinion, is like I always forget what we score for, mm -hmm. um, especially like the symbols and stuff like that. I know it, it it is pretty straightforward, but I always screw it up. So, um, but again, I would be fine playing this game and just not scoring it at the end because mm. I think the the joy in it is creating that story at the very end and actually having it out in front of you. Right. And feeling like you're in this world that we both are very much in love with. Yes. So I think that's the competitive game. 
Yes. I think if we played this cooperatively mm -hmm. against the adversary and our our job was to beat the adversary. I think we'd have a lot more I think fun. we'd enjoy it a lot you more. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. as a competitive game, right. I think I think these cards kind of for me they break it. Yeah. The way they're scored. Right, right. Yeah. Um, that I, that said, I think that um, I think I, I did probably enjoy it more with four, mm -hmm. even with three people. We and it was a t I'm telling you, that was a take that game. And it was very take batty. Yeah. But it, the thing is, though, like it was kind of you were kind of okay with it. And I'm usually okay with more of like take that if it's in a bigger, bigger setting. Group, it's yeah. it's hard with two unless you yeah. are two players that really do just like to get down and like compete like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, we're just not. That's not our style. So, um, so anyway, I think that it, that was kind of it. That was sort of like a yeah, all so around in a circle yeah, kind of want, way to talk about. This don't game, want it to sound like this is a negative review in any, all, in any way all, because we all. really do love yeah. this game. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I really don't like how these cards are scored, I know. and I, I can't stress that enough <laughs> uh, because every time we play the game, I, I struggle with it, I know. and it really it, it just gets my goat that. <laughs> I'm being forced right. to play cards to score points. Well, and they're very, they're, some of them are kind of OP. Okay, this one that I got at the very the very end of the game, mm -hmm. and I was like, can I play this card that I just got, you know? Yeah. It, I can gain, my choice is gain two light, so two on my light track, yeah. or choose another hero to gain a light. Yeah. If I had done that, I would have ended up with six more points, mm -hmm. plus one for the card that I played. Yeah, so Seven like, more really? In one card. Um, for really doing nothing except taking a, a story card that happened to give me a hero card. So, so to, like, it's just, it's too, whatever. they're too powerful, I think, so. from a scoring perspective. Yeah. When you're you're fighting tooth and nail to, to prevent a wildfire from a rampaging Draco Dracus to get two points. Yeah, I know. I feel like you should probably... And I could just play two that. cards and get two points. Like, yeah. I think it, the, the scale there is just not right. Yeah. But, in any case... Anyway. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the playthrough, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't read the books, read the books. Yes. And get back to us, tell us how you like them. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> see ya.